Hey, how you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. First, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm recording this on Thanksgiving. Second off, I just got this the other day, and I just read it now, and I was like, this this is fun. I'm going to showcase this. Uh, usually, I showcase comics that I got a, a long time ago, but I just got this, and it's an old comic. All right, so 20 cents, Werewolf by Night, Mystery of the Mad Monk. Look look at this cover. It's just, just insanity. <laughs> I, I, just, I just love this cover. This is in really good shape. Okay, approved by the Comics Code Authority. All right, so, uh, hey, I need 250 skinny guys. Muscles in only 35 days wanted. Okay, there you go. You know who you are. You can apply for that. All right, look at this splash page. Very, very, uh, very horror movie. Sets the, sets the tone, stained glass window, raining out, perfect horror movie. You know, this is like the beginning of every Tim, Tim Burton movie. Let's look at the Indicia. Volume 1, number 3, January 1973. Okay. The Mystery of the Mad Monk. We got Jerry Conway doing the scripts. I, I Jerry Conway, just a super competent Marvel writer. I, I, I love Jerry Conway. We got Mike Plug. Mike Plug is is a kind of a forgotten guy. I you know, he's got a cult following. I, I really like Mike Plug. Um uh, he's he, he never made it to the top tier, but he's just got a hardcore cult follow, and you'll see why when we look through this. Frank Chiamonte Inker, a, another he is a regular at Marvel at this point. Uh, the C. Jeter letter, I don't even know that name. Stan Goldberg colorist and Roy Thomas editor. I think Roy Tom Roy Thomas was the editor in chief at Marvel at this point, meaning he was the boss. Okay, we uh, did I skip a page already? Yes, I did. All right, so look at this page. Look at look at that. One, two, three, four, six, six panels. They're offset. So what's going on? Jack Russell. I know it, it always made me laugh that that, that the werewolf's uh, super uh, secret identity's name was 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 a dog. But Jack Russell's father found the Dark Hold, and the Dark Hold is a book of, of ancient spells. It's definitely goofed on the Necromonicon, and you'll see why. So the Dark Hold is this book of dark magic, dark spells. It's just an evil book. I love that trope, the evil book. And it's borderline sentient, this book. I, I just I just love that. It's hitting all my buttons. I'm a, I'm a big Lovecraft freak, and I'll talk about that later. So he Jack Russell found this book that his that his stepfather had, his evil stepfather, and uh he he brought the book to his friend Joaquin. He's a priest. And Joaquin is is studying the book, but he's freaking out because nobody knew how evil this book was it's not like jack set him up for anything so he studied the book and, he, and the book is so evil it's it's just like creating mist and everything so now he's calling up jack to tell him you know i i, I can't continue with this book it's just too evil so jack's staying at a buddy's house in, in, in florida and in, in california rather <clears throat> He's like, this book, it's I finished it. It's insane. I can't keep reading it. I I, I can't study it anymore. There's ah and the phone goes dead. Follow Joaquin, I guess I said Joaquin. And, and then, you know, man of action runs off. Now he took a sleeping pill because he he it's it's a it's a full moon because you know that's the way it always is in werewolf stories. Those those three everything any everything of importance always happens during those three days of, of the full moon. I mean, why not? <laughs> you know so he took a sleeping pill i don't know any 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 uh werewolf people does a sleeping pill keep you from do you, do you need to see the moon or does the is, is it just have to be a full moon i, I don't know there's something to explore so he gets in the car drives off he's panicked and he forgets so he's driving his buddy's car and he turns into the werewolf look at this three panel transformation that's pretty cool the curse of the wolf werewolf born so he was born a werewolf so he's been struggling with this his whole life. He was never attacked by a werewolf. And look, he's like the, this like humanoid wolf. And the werewolf is like, I don't know how to drive. I don't care about driving. And he, the car just jumps off and he's unharmed. And he's like, you know, whatever. I, this comic is written from the, the perspective of Jack Russell. So when he becomes the werewolf, it's like Jack Russell talking about the werewolf as, his, as if he was another person. So he's like, I have a dim memory a distant memory that I got of somebody named Marquez. So he he know he he knows he has to go visit the, the priest. That was his purpose. He doesn't know why the werewolf. And then this is Jack's sister, Lissa. And this is his stepfather. And the stepfather is conducting evil, illegal activities 
as as his his stepdaughter's just luxuriating over here, and he's just like, "I paid you, granted as much as you could. If if he's disappeared, that's your problem." So blah 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 blah. So she, she jumps to conclusions that may or may not be true. I don't know. I haven't read issue four. That he paid this guy Grant to kill his wife, their mother, so he can inherit the money. So she's like, "Oh my God, I gotta go run off now like a maniac," you know, with with disregard for safety. And here we got Stan Soapbox. This is this was an article written by Stan Lee that that he would put in the comics every month. Just you know, talk about whatever whatever uh, topic he wanted to. Here's the Mighty Marvel checklist. So we read Claws of the Cat. War is Hell number one. Spoof number three. I never heard of Spoof. Ooh, oh, Spoof! I gotta check that out. Every time I look at a comic, I gotta check something else out. All right, so here we got a. The well, just look how wonderfully moody this is. You know, there's the moon in the background. This is, I, I, this is, I, I said Tim Burton before, and I know this is kind of controversial, but I'm not the biggest Tim Burton fan. Matter of fact, I only have like two or three Tim Burton movies that I actually like. Um, so I'm gonna say these. This is more like Hammer film. Okay, so here we got the werewolf. He's just scratching at the dirt. He makes it to the. He makes it to the. Uh, the, I guess, monastery where, where the priest is. And here he is. Come forward, Jack Russell. I've been expecting you. This body is Waquez, but I am Elfric, called the Mad Monk. And the Book of Sins is mine. And it goes into a little history. Like, the werewolf doesn't even, even care. So he he's, he's just overpowered by the power of this evil. And the the Alfric, the Mad Monk, is explaining what happened. And it's it's it's... Again, I'm a, I'm a Lovecraft fanatic. I love H.P. Lovecraft stories. So, uh, if 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 Jerry Conway made this up and he didn't read Lovecraft, I would be amazed. So, what we have here is this 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 monk is writing down all of these scriptures that he that he heard, but there, but he he was seduced by Satan and he he loved Satan. So he's writing these it, it right under everybody's nose. They just assume that he's he's doing some some, uh, some good stuff. But what he's doing is like he's writing down these whispers that he heard from 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 you know Beelzebub, Satan, whatever whatever you want to call him, the Antichrist, and he's writing them down. And then like uh, somebody else sees like what, what what are you writing over here? He's like, oh my God, that guy's blasphemy. He's blaspheming the Savior himself. So he's he's running out of the monastery just like a crazy person. All right. And of course, he meets up with this guy who just got back from the Crusades. He's like, I just fought evil people, and I'm I'm you know. And, he smashed him with the sword. He's like, I just stabbed you and you, you love. He's like, yes, because I have the power of Satan. And he just freaking disintegrates this guy. The Adventures of Corgi Boy. I don't know. What, what, what is this? It's race cars and monsters. I never really looked at this ad before. All right. I, I never really cared about race car toys. But if it's race cars and monsters, you know, I, I don't know. That's that's pretty cool. All right. So now the townspeople are like he was our patron, you know. We we you know he he represented the king. We're we're gonna get you, and they overpower him. You know he's not a master of the scroll yet, and they just burn him at the stake. He's like fools, nothing can stop me. I'll come back. I'll come back. Look at this face. I'll return and I'll rule. So they leave his body, and of course these evil scrolls are untouched by the fire. This this couple, husband and wife, like let's sell this. They sell it to a, 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 an Arab trader who just murders them. The Arab trader gets poisoned by his wife. The wife gets hung as a witch and so on and so forth. All the way down to uh, Jack Russell's father. 35 generations later. The Terrific Ten. This was the... Back in the way, way days, in the olden days, you didn't see a lot of cartoons. Cartoons, you, you saw them from 3 o'clock to like 5 o'clock every day after school. And then on Saturdays. So... And the Saturday morning lineup of cartoons was a big freaking deal. Underdog, one of the greatest cartoons of all time. I, I like the Jetsons. The Hound Cats, I don't know. The Roman Holidays, I don't know. The Barclays, which is looks like All in the Family. That's what kids want to watch is All in the Family cartoons. Sea Lab, I remember that. This Run Around, I don't know. Around the World, 80 Days. Talking with the Giant. The Terrific Ten. Ah, that wasn't too terrific. I don't remember. All right, so... Uh, Reading the book invoked this curse and turned Jack Russell's father into a werewolf. And then when Jack was born, the, the hereditary curse turned him into a werewolf. So that's the origin of, of Werewolf by Night. I didn't see the, the Marvel show. Is it any good? Let me know, guys. I, I It looked pretty good. But uh, I, I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of, of, of the Marvel Universe movies, you know? Uh, it, it 
they're just not that good. But uh, Werewolf by Night looked pretty good. Was was Moon Knight good? I loved Moon Knight. All right, so now he's like all caught up to speed. And the werewolf's like, I don't give a crap. So he's going to cast a spell. No good and rescued my quarrel. And he puts these mystic, uh, you, you, you like my magic Latin? He puts these like magic uh, manacles on him. So he's changed the world. Look at the, look at the screaming. It's just this, I do like just the mani maniacal rage and the contortions of, of the werewolf. Plug is pretty good with that. So now the sister, cut to the sister, she's taking the keys and she's running off. And the police like, you can't go here. There's this, this freaking mist is just, you know, and as he's talking, he gets enveloped by the mist. It just disintegrates. And she, the other partner comes like, what? The? And she just drives out of here. And she's like, I, well, you know, it turns out that she's immune to the mist because of the Jack Russell, you know, she's Jack Russell's blood sister. So the, the, she's immune. So th this guy comes running out and like, you got to get out of here. Help me. Look at that face. Look at that face. And and she, she just lives. And then tell me that's not like an homage to EC Comics. EC Comics was a... Oh, what the hell did it stand for? I, f I forget what, what EC Comics even st even stood so. But they were the uh, the horror comics from the 50s that, that caused like all this commotion. But, you know, look at that. It's just, he goes, you know, I, I love this. He goes, your present... Your presence is the most unexpected blessing, but now when she comes, it's a pity. She seems to fade understandable. Mine is not the most pleasant of visages. Yet another reason for my vengeance against the, this hated earth. So not even mankind, the entire earth. So now the, the werewolf sees his sister and he's like, uh, he doesn't know it's his sister, but he, he has this like unconscious memory and he strains and strains and strains. And who else wants a He-Man body? Do you want that He-Man body? Curl up next to you. There you go. There's my He-Man body. There's a picture of me. You know. And he rips himself free. And here, he, the mad monk is like checking out the prostrate sister. And he's like, oh yeah, you, you, you want to help her out? He goes, listen, I'm, I'll make you a deal. And he says, you have unbridled evil within you. And I will summon Dragonus. And Dragonus will beat you until you submit to me. That's pretty much what he tells him. And the werewolf is just running out of the way. And I love that. He, he doesn't fight like a superhero. He doesn't, he just bites him like a wild animal. Look, look at this thing screaming and flipping out. Notice there's no blood though. So Draconis, superhero fight, it just runs up and just starts choking him, choking him, choking him. And then he flips him over and the, the monk is just watching. Want to be a veterinary assistant? I guess that would take... Pretty pretty good ad in, in a werewolf comic, right? And call it instinct or accident or whatever, but the werewolf rolls on the ground and Draconis trips and smashes it to the monk, killing the monk. He just gets stabbed by his own altar and, and that so the, the demon goes away and he's like, I just want to go to the forest. I want to kill. I want to go to the forest. In the forest. That's like all that he says. And, and then the mad monk, the spirit of... Uh, the mad monk leaves, and that's his friend. He's like, uh, I didn't know Satan was real. Forgive me. You know, I, I, you know, which is an odd thing for a priest to say. He's like, I failed, I failed, I failed. Which is really sad to, to, to think that you that your last thought on earth is, is, is failure. And I love the light coming in, showing you, like, he's forgiven because, you know, he didn't do anything wrong. And then Werewolf by Night is taking his sister to where? The second night. So this is the first night of the, of the, of the full moon. What's going to happen in tomorrow night? I, I thought this was a great, fun comic. I got to order number four and see what happens. You know, that's what I do. Uh, in order to stop myself from spending too much money, I don't order the next comic until I actually read that comic. Because I got so many freaking comics that I haven't even read yet. So in order to keep myself from from uh, spending too much money, I, I, I naturally limit myself by, I have to read it, then I could order it. So, you know, Sometimes I'll go on eBay. Sometimes I'll just go to my comic shop or whatever. But uh, so it'll, it'll take me a couple of weeks to get the next issue. So I'm not constantly just buying the next one, buying the next one, you know. And there you go. Because I'm a weirdo. I got to have some sort of natural limit. Otherwise, I'll keep keep spending money on comic. But there you go. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this. <laughs> I, I didn't, like I said in, in a couple of videos, when I was a kid, comic books were just superheroes. When you know, now as an adult, I'm, I'm appreciating the, the the different genres that comic books have to offer, like like war comics, source, sword and sorcery, and and now monster comics. Believe it or not, monster comics were like the, you know, I I, I would read 
a science fiction comic or sword and sorcery before I would read a monster comic. I just didn't didn't like monsters. It's not that I was scared of them or anything. Monsters was something you watched on TV. <laughs> you know, that's just the way I was as a kid. I, I like monsters. Matter of fact, my, my older brother's into horror movies and me and him would stay up late and watch horror movies all the time. So it, I, I did like horror, but comic books were superheroes. Monsters were on TV. Star Wars was in the movies. Star Trek, you know, when it was, was a TV show. That's the way I was. I was a weird kid. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.